Welcome to Codefresh Coding. In this video, we are going to learn some of the important methods related to tree map. So, first method is put method. We have already covered this put method that is used to add the key value pairs to the tree map. So here we have a tree map called students. Inside these students, we have added the values with the help of put method. We are printing this tree map. So we are able to get this output. And here the order is maintained as ascending order of the keys. So first value will be 1, second will be 4, third will be 5. Second method is the get method. So what does this get method does? It is used to get the values associated with a specific key. So you need to pass a parameter key to the get method to get the value of that particular key. So here if I say students, let me print another statement here, this out. Students dot get. So this is a method. This method takes the key. If I provide here a key 4, because we have a key as 4 here, right? So this will return us the value of key 4 which will be Tom. Let's run it. See, we are able to get here. So this is a get method that is used to get the value from a particular key. Another method is size method. Size method is used to check how many items are present inside your tree map. So here what you need to say students dot size. Size method. Let's run this code. So this is returning us three because there are three records present in our tree map right so that's why the size of our tree map is 3 next method is contents key method so this is used to check if a particular key exists in a tree map so you need to pass a key as a parameter to this method and this will return a boolean result whether the key is present inside it or not so here i need to say students dot contents key and here i need to pass the key so let's say i pass the key as one so one is already present here right so it will return me true so we are getting here true if i say 10 so 10 is not present inside our students right this should return false so we are getting here false another method is similar to contents key we have contents value this will check if a particular value is present inside our tree map or not so contents value and values are of type string right so here I will say Mike on this code. So here we are getting false. Why we are getting a false? Because the value which is present here is with uppercase M, right? And here we are checking with lowercase M. So this is case sensitive. So no value with small M Mike is present inside in our tree map. If I say here with uppercase M, so this will return me true. So we are getting here true. Next method is remove method. So this is used to remove a key value pair associated with a specific key. So this will also take a key as a parameter and will remove that particular key value pair. See this. Let's print students again and between these two statements we will remove the record. If I say here, we will make some adjustment. Okay, so here I will say students dot remove and here I need to pass a key. Let's say I pass the key as 4. This will remove the record with value Tom. So here first time we are getting all three records. After that the remove statement is executed and it has removed this particular record with key 4 and we are getting this updated tree map here with value 1 Mike and key 5 value John. Next method is clear method. So clear method is used to remove all items. So instead of removing a single record if you want to remove all the records then you can go with clear method. So here if I say students dot clear it will remove all the records from our tree map. If I run this code see we are getting empty map now uh, next method we can see here is students dot first key so what this method will return 
will return the first key which is present inside our tree map. If I run this code, so first key is one because tree map maintains the ascending order, right? So it is not on the basis of in which we have inserted, but it is by default ascending order. So even if we, you have entered this particular value first five as a key, but when you store inside this tree map, it will be storing as per the ascending order. So one will be stored. So first key is our one. In similar way, we have another method called last key. This will also return the last key which is present inside our tree map. So last key is five. So we are getting here five. So these were some of the methods that you can make use according to your project requirement. So that's it in this video. We will see another topic in next video. Thank you for watching.